How's it going everybody? Taking a little break from Spider Bed and Breakfast, today we have a ton of updates, starting with our Brachypelma album Philosum. And you guys will see here that it destroyed its hide, like completely wrecked it. There are just pieces of it all over the enclosure, and it's gotten quite a lot bigger. So we're going to have to do what we've done a lot of times on this channel, and that is make it a new hide. At this point you guys pretty much know what's up. We got a clear cup, cut it in half, you're going to glue it down the middle to try and make a little bit of a cave shape and then you're going to go ahead and just glue that together. It can be kind of difficult actually, I was having a really hard time getting it to stick. And then you just grab whatever you want, like rocks, cork bark, whatever you want to make it look like the coolest hide ever. Just stick those on there with your hot glue gun, being careful not to burn yourself. At this point we know you guys are hot glue, glue gun pros after watching all of our videos. But yeah, just glue everything together on there. And after you've got all the rocks on, you can take a fake plant that you can get like anywhere that you want. Just cut some of those leaves and flowers off and use those to complete the rest of your hide. And you can get it to look pretty good. After gluing all those things on, you'll have it just looking a little bit better than just like a regular cup or even a regular cork bark, and it'll be perfect for your tarantula. I left a little space on the sides and on the backs that I can put some dirt up on because I've seen that that helps them know it's like for them a little bit better. So just making some room in there, sticking it right in there, and yeah, let's get Pelma into his new house. So you probably heard me say his, and yeah, we're pretty sure Pelma is a he using a piece of its destroyed hide to get it out on my hand here, but it is massive. We got it in last November, and it has molted at least four times and has exponentially grown in size. Beautiful right now, though. You can see the curly hairs for which it gets its name, and yeah, it's a beautiful tarantula. Very, very calm. I hold this one all the time, even, and even if I have to go in and clean something up when it's in pre-molt, it's just a very relaxed tarantula. These are a great species for beginners. And you can see here that it'll just crawl around and get to know its new enclosure a little bit. All right, next up for rehousing, we're gonna repurpose Pelma's old enclosure for Hero, our grandma stole a polka piece, and it has also grown quite a bit, not as much as Pelma, but it has grown a bit. We're going to take this hide out, I love this hide, my brother made it for me and it's got to be one of my favorites, but just nudge Hero out onto my hand here. Hero as well is a very calm spider and is usually very easy to hold no matter like what time of day or anything that's it, that it's in, even if it's hungry, it's a very relaxed spider. And it's grown quite a bit as well, but it is a beautiful tarantula, and I love that it's getting those yellow stripes on its knees and everything. Yeah, just cleaned out Pelma's old enclosure and put Hero in there and let him explore a little bit. But yeah, that's the bit two rehouses, and now on to the part you guys are probably looking forward to the most. If you look in here, there are now three Steatota triangulosa egg sacs. It laid another one. And as I put my hand here and zoom up a little bit, you'll be able to see the first baby that hatched out of there. So after seeing that one yesterday, I checked again today, and you can see that there's one here but then when you look over, there's a ton more that have hatched. I saw at least four or five. And I'm just so excited that they've been hatching. We're going to wait a while before, I'm going to wait maybe a week before I start separating them and releasing them into a place where they'll have lots of food. But again, it's just super exciting to see the first egg sac hatching. We hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to subscribe and like for more 8-Legged Cuteness Weekly. And check out our Facebook page if you guys haven't already. We love you guys. Have a great day.